The best laid plans of mice and men. I don't know about mice, but for me, I had a bit of a disaster yesterday. The idea was to film the train between Shanghai and Nanning. You get on board the train, sit by the window, you film. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I arrived into Nanning at around about 11 o'clock last night, totally exhausted, but I decided before I go to bed, I'm just going to do a little bit of editing and then um, I'll have a good night's sleep. Uh, I discovered that 90% of what I had filmed had disappeared. There was nothing from Shanghai to Guilin, and it was only from Guilin at sunset, which is actually quite nice footage, through to Nanning at night. That's all that survived. And I thought, what happened to 90% of what I shot? And what I think has happened is, this is the technical bit by the way, this camcorder I use saves everything onto a folder or into a folder dated today. What I think I had done is for some reason put it into the previous day's folder. I don't know why, but I think it did that in Beijing as well. And so what I do is I transfer from SD card onto laptop, I edit it, I then put it onto an external memory. And once that's done, I can start freeing up some space on the SD card. But I always check to see what's in these folders before I delete them. And I remember looking at these thinking, well, that's old stuff. That's the, the full day in Beijing. That's been edited. I can get rid of that. That's the day trip to the Great Wall of China. That's old. That's history. I can get rid of that. Not realizing my uh, camera had actually put that day's footage, the Shanghai to Nanning train, onto an older folder. So, of course, I deleted it without knowing. Imagine my disappointment, guys. Here I'm trying to have a professional YouTube channel and I've only got about uh, five minutes of footage. What might have just saved the day is the footage which I shot from my mobile phone. I generally do that when I'm in restaurants, inside trains, where I need a selfie shot. It's got a wider angle so I can get away with it and it's more discreet than this camera on a selfie stick. So with that and what it managed to survive from Guilin, I might have just pulled it off. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy this train trip. That's my trusty map of China. Let me just show you what the damage is. Okay, I feel like a geography teacher, so please pay attention. Irkutsk, Ulaanbaatar, Beijing, Shanghai. So far, so good. Now, the damage was Shanghai to Guilin. That entire part was lost yesterday, and little bit I've been able to save is Guilin, to Nanning, that little bit there, and it was from sunset onwards, uh, but at least there's a little bit of video, but I still can't believe that I've lost the majority of it. My home. My home for the next 11 hours. Time for something to eat. Ladies and gentlemen, 
纳入铁路旅客行政信息管理，一百八十天内现。掉下去了，是吗？来，躺好躺好，我拿给你。新鲜水果有需要的吗？found it, Golden Holidays International Hotel. I've got a river view, but I'm just looking forward to having a shower. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Please uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Tomorrow is a full day in Nanning. You don't want to miss that, so I'll see you in the morning.